All right, I'd like to talk to you about this type of material. It's called a temper cake. Um, they're called temper cakes because it's like a shape like a little cake, but not because you can eat it. It's not for eating, it's just for painting. So these are paints. Sometimes, I just want to show you that sometimes as they get used, um, maybe knocked around or someone's not following directions, these temper cakes can break. Now, it might be a little bit more annoying to paint with them, but they will still work. So if you get one with a broken cake, it's totally fine, you can still use it. Now, when you first get them, if they haven't been used in a while, they're gonna be very dry. So if I touch it with my finger, if my finger's dry, nothing's gonna happen, because they're dry. And what we're gonna do to use our temper cake is take a brush with water and we're gonna dip our brush in the water and we're just gonna have our paintbrush kind of dance on the top of it, sort of wiggling around. And the longer you do this, the more, the brighter your color's gonna be. So here I have my paper and I'll paint on there. So you can see I get a nice purple on there. So I'm gonna rinse my brush, switch over to this blue, and let's say I just go like this, one, two, three, and I try and paint with it. It's gonna be pretty light. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I can get a darker color, okay? So if you want a lighter color, you just kind of dance on it a little bit. And if you want a darker color, you dance on it a little bit longer, okay? And then whenever you switch colors, you need to rinse your brush because if you don't, your colors are going to look like this. So this was from a student who did not rinse their brush when they switched colors. They started painting with red, and then they just jumped right into all the other colors, and before you know it, this whole thing turned into a big brown tray. Because when you mix all the colors together, you get black or brown. And while brown is a beautiful color, we don't want all of our colors to turn all the same. We wanna be able to have a bunch of different colors like this one, okay? So this was a palette of temper cakes where a student made sure that they rinsed their brush. So if they had red on their brush and they painted red on their painting they and they want to go to yellow, they went back to their water bucket and they rinsed it. One, two, three, four, five. And then sometimes what you can do is you can even take a paper towel and just kind of dab your, your paintbrush on there. And if it looks like, you know what, there doesn't look like there's any paint on there, now I can switch to my yellow and that way I'll make sure that my paint stays nice and clean. The other way that these paints can get dirty is if, see so yeah, that one's getting a little bit dirty, and the reason why is because my water is kind of dirty, okay? Or I didn't get all the paint out of my paintbrush. So something you can do if your paint's getting kind of dirty is you can take some paper towel and you can just kind of gently blot it or wipe it, and that'll get it nice and clean again, okay? We never, never pour the paint on the, or water on the paint that will make it get really soft and fall apart and that's why this can happen. Or this yellow, or sorry, this white, is probably because someone poured water in there and got too wet and it just started to like bleh, dissolve, okay? So that's temper cakes. Make sure you rinse and make sure that you're using it properly.